So, hello fellow Jeepers. The other day, when I was driving my Jeep, I got stuck at the military surplus store local here. My Jeep wouldn't start, no matter what I tried. It was stuck there for a long period of time, never started. And while I was trying to crank it, I noticed that the ignition was really stiff to the crank. The long story short version of that is basically I'm changing the ignition out right now. And I still don't know if this is the problem, but I'm really hoping that if this is the problem, which it could be, it could be not igniting the ignition properly, and that's been my problem this whole time. If that is the problem, then that'd be great. If not, it still might be something else, but... Yeah, I need to figure out how to put this in without breaking it. <laughs> Well, good morning fellow Jeepers. Last night, I finished putting my steering column together. When I drove it the other day, I found out it was crooked. So now I gotta take it apart and try to figure out why my steering wheel is crooked. Um, so that's on my list of things to do today. First off, I gotta make breakfast, gotta do school. After that, I'm gonna go figure out what to do with the Jeep. The problem is our weather's so up and down here and lately it's been a little bit rainy if you can see outside. Mmm, yummy. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat this untypical breakfast now. Anyway, so, let's... No, my banana! I dropped my banana. No! I'm sure it's still good. It feels kind of mushy, though. Probably because I dropped it. Anyway, so now, um, what's going on today, I just did my schoolwork. It's actually like 3 o'clock now. Um, I started making this video at like 9 o'clock this morning, and then after I started doing my school, I just kind of stopped filming in the Jeep situation here. So I talked about how I fixed the ignition recently. Um, I don't know if it was the problem per se with the vehicle yet. Um, I haven't had a problem with it since I changed it, but I also haven't driven it that much. So I won't really know unless the problem comes up again. And then if it does, I'll have to see if it was something else. But um, well, I changed out the ignition. I put the steering wheel assembly back on and everything. Well, in the process of putting it back together, I did mark it, but then I had to do something which took the marks off. And then just now, um, the other day when I drove it, I found out I put the steering wheel on crooked. <laughs> So hopefully whatever I did isn't too major. So I was literally just saying how um, I wanted to keep the vehicle running because it's cold. And um, I turned the video off and I was trying to figure out what's the first step I need to do. And then I remembered because I have to take this bolt off, I have to turn the ignition off because I have to lock the steering wheel into place. So. I'm just gonna sit in the cold, guys. I actually don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's like 40 degrees, but come to think of it, I have not checked the weather because I haven't really thought about it. I usually would check the weather in the morning because I wanna know if I need to wear anything extra before I go into work, you know, like extra clothes because it's gonna be cold, or if I don't even need to bring coat because it's gonna be burning up. Um, but uh, the last couple of days, I haven't really paid attention to the weather. It just walk outside and figure out, oh, I need to go back inside and get a jacket, so. It's been interesting. Okay, guys, so, um, the reason that I got the whole thing misaligned in the first place, because when I put the horn switch in, which doesn't exactly work, I mean. Anyway, so, um, when I put it in, there's a little hole on the steering wheel that goes right through, so I assumed it was just aligned correctly because it went right through. Well, it turns out it was too far to the right, but I found out this plastic thing just kind of moves wherever you push it. If you push it tight enough, that is. 
so it's probably closer to like right here except for now the horn doesn't work but <laughs> it was probably closer to right here and so now i think the only thing to do is i'm going to put the steering wheel back on i'm not going to tighten it down and find out if that's correct and then we'll know speaking of which this will also be a great way to find out if um or i guess not find out but a, a way to test to see if the ignition works because it's been sitting probably for about 10 15 minutes now which usually is when i'll have the problem where it won't start um on the plus side if it was not the ignition i did reach out to the local jeep community here on facebook and i had a guy suggest the temperature sensor or something like that which i never heard of before i knew about thermostat but i guess there's a sensor for everything now um and he suggested it might be that actually and since anything goes right now i'm gonna look into that and see if that's what it actually is because maybe that's straight let's find out well it turned on but that doesn't necessarily mean that works but let's see if the steering wheel straight now i am driving illegally on so many ways first of all my steering wheel isn't tightened in second of all i don't have my license with me right now um uh, that and i don't have really screwed in i think it might still be crooked though let's see oh he waved yeah fellow jeeper um uh, if it's not straight it's definitely very close to it well i am not a professional but uh i'm gonna say that's straight so i mean it felt pretty straight this is kind of a waste of time because i'm actually going to get a new steering wheel eventually I actually was looking today, but I can't decide if I want wood, leather, or just like vinyl or whatever this rubber stuff is. That I have everything bolted down and everything, and it still starts. I'm gonna take this on a little bit more of a test run. So I'm gonna go this way. But so far, it's driving just fine, so I'm gonna just assume that there's nothing wrong with it. Well, my personal opinion, uh, I think it feels good, so I'm going to call that good. Um, also on the plus side, it does feel like right now, and maybe I'm just wishing that it's just true, but it does feel like the ignition was the problem the whole time. If you remember in a few videos ago, and I think I brought it up one time when I tried to start it and it didn't even like crank, nothing happened, it just would not work. I had to unplug the battery, plug it back in, and then it cranked. Um, it was really weird, so it is entirely possible it was the ignition. So here's the deal. I want to find a way to be able to sleep in my Jeep, and after I've been exploring YouTube for a while, what was just an idea I had in the back of my head to discovering this amazing guy on YouTube who actually lives in his Jeep, to me just kind of gunning off of that, getting inspiration, coming to the realization I don't need to build a platform, I can just throw a cot in the Jeep. Well, the cot works great, I think. I need to rebuild a platform for it to rest on like I used to. And now I actually came up with an even better idea that I actually want to test out. But I have this idea and I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of what I see in my head that I want to try to build here. And so right now I just have this, it looks just like if you watch I Am Jake on YouTube, it's literally the same sleeping uh, setup he had. But I have an idea and this is basically what it is. So I had this idea before to basically build what's just a wooden cot and just built it into the section. I made the measurements and everything to try to see if I could do it. Well, in my new design of thinking, um, I was going to try to cook out on the Jeep. I bought the skillet and everything and... Um, my dad had a gas propane stove and I was like, okay, now all I have to do is find a way to eat. And I don't have a fold down tailgate, which I can't eat on, which I'd like to have for multiple reasons. You can use it as a bench, table, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, I also was thinking about making just a fold down table here, which I still am thinking about doing, if not permanently, temporarily. But all in all, I think what I want to do, and this is an idea I had, I think it would be amazing, is I want to just get plywood boards across here and then I want to make out a platform that'll go all the way across to the end I can put uh, this mattress pad or possibly another mattress pad that will be my sleeping platform and it'll just go across here and then in this whole back truck bed section drawers like two separate drawers well I haven't decided yet um, this might actually just be 
this might not be a drawer. This might just be an empty space. Or this might be, I haven't decided which side I want it on, but I want to have a rollout drawer. And what it will do is when you roll it out, it'll just have my gas propane stove right here. And then you roll it out and it'll just be a rollout table right here just so I can put things on or just so I can chop things up. And just so I have the table, the propane stove built in. And then when I'm done with it, I can just slide it back in. And then right there, I just have my bed. So that's the idea I'm thinking of. And like I said, it's not a completely original idea. I'm not the first person to think of this. I know other people have done it, so I know it's possible, and I'm watching things on YouTube on how to do it. I think this will be fun. Um, until then, I am thinking about just making a little fold-down table here because I want to use this temporarily, but right now it is freezing cold outside, and so I am going to go inside. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Or this video actually. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm actually doing research right now with my free time while I'm doing my homework sometimes. I'm watching videos. My mom's coming to my room. It's like, you're supposed to be doing school. I'm like, I ain't doing school, mom. But I'm also studying videography. So hopefully my quality of my videos will... I'm going to get some new ideas and make this thing a little more creative, come up with new things. And I definitely have a little bit more free time to kind of rub in uploading time and different things. So that's why I'm making this video now. So I got to go. It's freezing. My hands are cold. I think I'm going to be able to make a nice cup of coffee.